Invaders from beyond, weird, fantastic beings of super intelligence, capturing humans at will for their own sinister purposes, scream helplessly as the creature slithers up on the beach from beyond. It's incredible. You wouldn't believe all the big fish out there right now. Hi, my name's Terry Lilly, and I'm the marine biologist for the nonprofit Save Our Seas organization. Most of you out there have probably been on a boat catching lingcod and cabazon and blue rockfish, but I want to invite you to come along and I'm going to show you what these animals look like underwater in their native habitat where they live. Let's go check it out. One of the great things about fishing along the central coast here is the reef structure that's under the water. Most people kind of think when they look out at the ocean here, it's just flat underwater. But actually, right off the coast here, there are 100 foot, 50 foot caves that go way back into the reefs. There's giant cliffs and pinnacles. It's real rough textured reef under the water along the central coast, way more so than it is up on the land. The good thing about that is that gives habitat for the fish to live in. The fish like to hide in the caves, in the rocks, under the kelp, and near the base of the kelp. And that's what makes it fairly hard for fishermen to catch that many fish out here. And it's why we have a very good healthy reef system and lots of good game fish here. When you're out diving and you get to see them in person, you can actually see how they move and how they react. The big lingcod and cabazon, our biggest predator fish here, they just sit boldly on top of these rocks looking down 20, 30 foot cliffs. One of their favorite food is octopus. A three foot lingcod will eat an octopus the size of this water housing for the camera. It's amazing to see them eat it underwater. But they just sit there motionless, these big old lingcod, and just look for octopus and crabs and other small animals to eat and then they zoom out 100 miles an hour, wolf them down, and they go right back and sit on top of the reef. The cabazon sit there camouflaged. They don't think that they see you, or you see them. And then when you go right up to them, you can get right up to about an inch away from their head before they go, uh-oh, <laughs> someone sees us, and then they bolt off into the gloom. Most of the fish here have never seen a human being, so they have no fear of people whatsoever. I don't think they have a clue what a scuba diver is, so you can get really close to them with a camera. The big schools of fish, like the black rock fish and the blue rock fish, they live a little bit off the reef in schools, and they kind of cruise around up and down the caves and through the kelp beds with the olive rock fish. Sometimes you see schools of three to four hundred at a time. It's really amazing the amount of fish we have out here. Then we got the really neat vermilion or red rock fish that everyone sees when you're out on the fishing boats. And you may think they're red underwater, but they're not, they're black. They only live 50 feet deeper, deeper, and the red light doesn't get down there. So actually they're black and they live in caves. On the edge of the reef, you have the flatfish, like the halibut and the flounders. And you can see when they move, they're like a hovercraft. They are one of the coolest fish to watch move underneath the water. They move like this. Now a lot of the fish here only come in close to shore during the summer, like the halibut and the sea bass and the thresher sharks. But the rockfish live here year round and you can find them out here any day of the year that has good enough visibility. I have seen 30 inch to 40 inch lingcod while scuba diving right next to 20 foot waves right under the water. They'll come right up into the surf. Again, one of the greatest things about fishing along the coast here and about diving and seeing the fish is they're not used to seeing people and we have a huge quantity of fish out here. I think that's really special and I encourage people to learn to scuba dive so you can go down and you can actually watch them and how they behave. It's like the gopher cod, they come out and they look at you, and then when they're done checking you out, they'll turn around and go back in the same cave, turn right around and come right back and look at you again. When you get a chance, get out in the water here, go fishing, take your kids out. It's the greatest place to enjoy life. Get under the water one of these days and check out all the beautiful fish and marine creatures we have here. 
And you know what? I think it's time to go home and have a fresh lingcod steak for dinner. This underwater exploration segment has been brought to you by McCarthy Wholesale. To learn more about how you can become a sponsor, visit mydrivetv.com.